welcome back to the White Stoner channel here on YouTube. So today, I'm going to be finally doing, if I could change, WrestleMania 15. Um, I've just been busy and couldn't make this video, so I can finally make it now. So I want to try and find the original one. I'm very surprised this one plays, but what we have here is WrestleMania 15, the region climax, the silver vision, and a 15. Surprisingly, it plays. Um, so, um, I don't remember exactly where they were. I think it was Philadelphia. If I'm wrong, someone let me know. So, here we go. Um, so, we had the Big Show, Paul White, versus Mankind to determine the special guest referee for um, the Rock and Stone Cold in the main event. Um, I would have chose Big Show to win because around this time you don't see him win too much at WrestleMania. So, um, actually that match was good. I didn't care who won. I liked both Mankind and Big Show, but I would have chose Big Show to win. And since my copy says Ripple Threat Match for the Hardcore title, we had Billy Gunn versus Hardcore Holly versus Al Snow. Um, I would have chose Billy Gunn to win. I think he. Uh, I think he did win. Either way, that was my choice to win it. Um, that was a really good match. Then we had a um, Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett versus D'Lo Brown and Test for the tag team titles. Um, I would have went with Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett to win. Then we had the horrible Hell in the Cell match between Undertaker and Big Boss Man. I honestly would have just made this a street fight between them two. We didn't need a Hell in a Cell match, and um, obviously I would have picked Undertaker to win. And then for some reason the Brood hangs the big boss man at the end. I didn't understand that. We had Kane and Triple, Kane and Triple H. I would have picked um, Kane to win. This match, it just seemed like Kane should have won. We had a Brawl for All Bart Gun versus Butterbean. Um, that match was pointless. Bart Gun didn't do much, and Butterbean just kicked his ass in like 20 seconds. So I, cho I wanted Butterbean to win anyway, so it is what it is. We had a four corners elimination match for the Intercontinental title. Pretty good match. Road Dog versus Val Venus versus Ken Shamrock versus Gold Dust. Um, usually you've seen Ken Shamrock in an IC title match around this time. And I would have chose Ken Shamrock to win. Anyway. And I think um, Road Dog actually won this match. But I would have chose Ken Shamrock to win. We had Sable versus Tori for the women's championship. I would have chose Sable, and I think she did win. Um, this one I don't watch too much, so I don't know exactly who won. We had Shane McMahon versus X Pac for the European title. Of course, I would have chose X Pac to X Pac to win. I'm not the biggest Shane McMahon fan, but I do. Um, always enjoy watching his matches. And then in the main event, we had The Rock versus Stone Cold in a um, no holds barred match for the WWF Championship. This match wasn't bad. Um, their WrestleMania 17 match was much better, of course. And then Stone Cold won, which was fine by me. That's who I picked anyway to win it. The first time I ever watched this. So, there you have it. 
that's what I would do if I could change WrestleMania 15. And that's what the inside looks like. So like I said, I'm going to try and get an original copy, not the Silver Vision. And I'm, again, surprised it's actually American, and that actually plays. So, there you have it. Pretty soon I'm going to do my um, most important uh, three disc sets and Blu-rays in my collection. So stay tuned for that video. And you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. And I thank um, all the 230 subscribers I do have now. I thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and enjoy what I try to do best on here. And your host, Weistoner, is out.